Right, so when you change your car battery, uh, you have to disconnect this cable, right? And for just a brief moment of time, where you have to disconnect and remove your old car battery and install a new car battery, you have a short period of time where your car does not have power, and that might be enough to reset your ACU, electronic control unit and um, that will cause a very big problem if your ECU is being reset so today I'm going to show you how to make this cigarette lighter cable and plug in your cigarette lighter and the other end you plug in another 12 volt power source like this battery here or my homemade 12 volt battery pack uh, plug in another power source to a cigarette lighter to constantly provide power to your car so that your ECU does not reset itself when you have to disconnect the main uh, battery cable from your car. All right, so let's get started and we'll show you how to make this cable and how to use this cable properly. So I have this uh, 12 volt jump start battery and when I hook it up to my cigarette lighter plug right here so this I got from a solar panel kit and inside here there's a circuit a circuit to power this LED and to uh, stop the current from going back to the uh, solar panel at night so what I have to do is I have to remove the circuit and uh, wire this connector here the cigarette connector plug directly onto my 12 volts so I can supply the power to my car uh, via the um, cigarette li lighter plug. Alright, I think I'm done with my cigarette lighter plugs. And let me show you what I got here. So the positive connector, positive is inside. And I also saw the diode onto the positive wire. And it goes into that direction so that to make sure that power only goes one way and that is from my battery out to the car negative wire goes into that connector right there on the top or you can uh, solder that onto the bottom and the wire goes out to my other connector which I put in a XT60 connector which I'm going to plug into my battery 12 volt battery pack here plug right into here alright I'm in my car right now I got my cable ready I got my battery ready and here's my cigarette lighter plug and I have a Toyota and for all Toyota the cigarette lighter plug does not have power when the car is off and there's no key in the ignition the cigarette lighter does not have power so in order for the cigarette lighter to have power or to receive power you're gonna have to put in your key and turn on the ignition there are two positions on the ignition for my car it's ACC and on it doesn't have to be all the way on uh, it just have to be at ACC Right now, so you turn it on at the ACC. You see the clock uh, and the radio on, so you can even turn your radio on. Anyway, um, so when you see power go to your clock, you know that uh, there's power going to your cigarette lighter. So now is the time to plug in the cable to provide power to the car first before you disconnect the main battery. If you disconnect the main battery before you do this, there are going to be a time, a short period of time where your car does not receive power and it will reset everything in your car including your ECU. That's not good. So you have to plug this in first and provide power to your car first. Okay, so plug that in the cigarette lighter. Plug this. I'm going to plug this in my battery and then I'm going to disconnect my car battery after I plug this in. 
All right, so got my cigarette lighter cable plug in my 12 volt battery, or I can use this 12 volt battery. But I prefer to use this because I already have this connector. But anyway, um, the key is at the on position or ACC, and my clock is on radio. Got power. You see that? 11:28 p.m. Now it's time to disconnect my car battery cable. All right, so now it's time to disconnect my car battery cable. All right, off we go. Now let's go and check. Check on my car here. You can see there, the main car battery cable is disconnected. I still receive power going to my clock here and my radio. So everything still running fine. That means the car still receives power. And the light on the dashboard is still on. You see there? And let me see if I can turn on the car here. Here we go. There you go. Still got power. And everything. All power into the car. I'll turn this off. Just want to turn that on to conserve power. All right. So now I can uh, go out and work on my car battery, and uh, I don't have to worry about my ECU being reset. All right, folks, and. Uh, that's all I have for now. I also made a video to show you what would happen if you disconnect this cable without uh, having a backup power to your car. So I'm going to put the link in the description. And that's all I have for now. I'll see you next time and uh, thanks for watching.